Before we get on to the meat of this video, I just want to remind everybody what's going on this Saturday. So, here we go. The Golden Lure Party is set. It will take place at the Civic Center in Devon. You guys voted for it on Twitter and on Discord. Mostly, not a lot of people voted for it on Facebook, but the majority of Twitter, especially Twitter, and Discord won. So it's happening here, the Civic Center at Devon. It will start at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, the same time this month's Community Day will start. So yeah, it will be at the Civic Center in Devon, Michigan, so you do not want to miss that. And the lures, we want the Golden Lure module only to drop starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And obviously the plan is to walk around the eastern parts of the Civic Center. So we're talking about the baseball, well, not the entire baseball fields, but the playground area, the actual Civic Center building, and maybe that side of the police station. So it's going to go down on that side of the Civic Center, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Hopefully to see you there, and hopefully you bring your Golden Lure modules only, and maybe your Nintendo Switch. All right, so with that bit of news out the way, let's get on to the meat of this video where we got some major news coming next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is boy Troy for the today's day is Monday, March the 13th. And for us here in Detroit, it is 313 day. You know, March the 13th, you know, 313, that's our area code. Yeah, there you go with that. All right, so what's going on next week? So as you all should know, we got the Let's Go event and another Team Go Rocket Takeover event. Well, we finally got some news regarding both of those events. So, check this out. And I got to start this off with trainers. So, let's go. So, from next week, which is Tuesday, March the 21st at 10 a.m. to Wednesday, March the 29th at 8 p.m. local time, we got the Let's Go event. Well, and here's what's going to happen. Shiny Melted will return. And also, you will have the increased chance of getting double XS and double XL Meltins during the event. So, the key to catching Melton is the mystery box, in case y'all forgot what that is. That's basically where you either have Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, you transfer Pik Pokemon from your Pokemon Go over there, or the better way is if you have Pokemon Home, you can transfer your Pokemon over there and receive a Melton box. That would be the best way to do it, to be honest. When you use the mystery box during the event, you might encounter Shiny Melton if you're lucky, and also you have a increased chance of finding double XS and double XL Meltans during the event as well. Let's move on down. Pan Sage, Pan Sage, Pan Port will be back appearing all around the world. And yes, all of those can be shiny. I need one more of those shiny to complete the family. I think it's Pan Sage, if memory serves it correctly. So I will be out looking for that one. Let's move on. Ditto transformations. Ditto appeared to be transforming into different Pokemon in the round. So the following Pokemon will appear more frequently in the round. So check this out. We got Diglett, Grimer, Snubble, Corvus. I need one more of those shiny to complete that family. Starly, Roger Roller, Tagpole, Tempo, how you pronounce it, and Litleo. All those can be shiny, and any one of those could be Ditto. And remember, Ditto can be shiny as well. So keep that in mind, folks. Moving on down, here's the event bonuses. Reduce rating time for opening the mystery box, which is cool actually. Increased chance of finding double XS and double XL mail 10 box, uh, Pokemon that is. Double candy for transfer Pokemon. And increased chance of finding Ditto disguised as other Pokemon. And let's check out the Rao encounters here. We got Diglett, Grimer, Snubble, Corphus, Starly, Pansage, Pansier, Panpour, Roger Roller, Tempo, Typo, how you pronounce it, and Litleo. And if you're lucky, you might encounter Trubbish and Galarian Stumpfish. Every Pokemon that I'm named so far can be shiny. And of course, Gumi. So, yeah, there's that. Moving on down the list. We got five star raids. So, here's the deal we got Lugia. So, basically, here's the deal with the Lugia and the Incarnate Form Thunderous. So, Incarnate Form Thunderous will be here. Really? By the time this video drops, Incarnate Form Thunderous will be here. By the time this video drops, and yes, both of those can be shiny, and it will be here until next week, Tuesday, March the 28th at 10 a.m. local time. Oh, I take that back. My fault. I read that wrong. Incarnate for Thunderous will show up next week, next week, Tuesday, March the 21st at 10 a.m., and it will be here for a week until March the 28th at 10 a.m. local time, and then after that, Lugia will take over, and the app will be here until Monday, April 10th at 10 a.m. local time, and both of those can be shiny. Looking at the Mega Raids. 
Mega Venusaur will be here starting next week, March 21st at 10 a.m. to Tuesday, March 28th at 10 a.m. This is our local time, obviously. And then, of course, Mega Alakazam will take its place until Monday, April 10th at 10 a.m. local time. All of this is local time, by the way. And yes, both of these Megas can be shiny as well. Bill Reese's tabs, if you're looking at Pen Sage, Pen Seer, and Pen Poor, and again, all three of those can be shiny. There's going to be a collection challenge where you could encounter Melton with and 5,000 XP, by the way. So there's that. And then there's a seasonal special research, which is called an Everyday Hero. So this special research will be available to claim until the end of Season 10, which is Rising Heroes. And that will be on June 1st of this year at 10 a.m. local time. So there you go with that. And then, of course, we got the Willow's Wardrobe. Y'all should know about that already. And to be honest, y'all should have this done already. So there's that. Now let's move on to the Team Go Rocket Takeover event which will start on Saturday, March the 25th at 10 a.m. to Sun uh, Wednesday, excuse me, March the 29th at 8 p.m. local time. Now, Shadow Wedge Ice or Shadow Ice Reggie will be the main thing here that Giovanni will have. So check this out. And you can claim this special research up to the end of Season 10, which is June 1st at 10 a.m. local time. Again, just to point that out there. Now, moving on. The event bonuses for the Team Go Rocket event will look like this. Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestops and in Balloons. And here we go. You can use the Charge DM to help a Shadow Pokemon forget the Charge Attack move frustration, which is, again, huge. Now, here's where things will get very interesting. Shadow Pokemon. Let's read this last paragraph real quick. Well, let's no, Let's read the whole thing. Team Go Rocket ones, as well as their leaders, Sierra, Cliff, and Arlo, are using different Shadow Pokemon. Health Spark, Blanche, and Candela overcome the adversary, adversary excuse me, and rescue the Shadow Pokemon. In addition, Team Go Rocket has also turned the following Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon, defeat the Grunts to save them. And this is where things get very interesting. Pokemon that trainers rescue from Team Go Rocket Grunts may be shiny, if you're lucky. So here's the new shiny Pokemon that we be looking like, that be looking at rather. Shadow Alolan Grimer, Shadow Fampy, Shadow Trico, Shadow Torture, and Shadow Triplum. Now, I'm going to be honest, that last paragraph, I'm not sure how legit that is. That may be a typo. I don't know. But let's see if this remains. If this shows up on PokemonGoLive.com and it says the same thing, then it's legit. If it don't say it here, then it's not legit. You hear it here first, ladies and gentlemen. So keep that in mind. Let's move on. The Tri-Kilometer Eggs. There's nothing new here to basically be concerned about nothing was added so we're going to move on for that and then there's going to be a field research task that will award mysterious components so there's that and i'm gonna say even though i don't know, say here but i'm gonna say please be aware your surroundings blah 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 side of pokemon go team that is the let's go event and the team go rocket takeover event so looking at these two events well shiny melton's being back is great and more pokemon transform into ditto is you know cool it's cool it's cool and of course the uh pan set the pan trio will be out in the row and can be shiny as well so that's also cool and then of course you got the team go rocket takeover event where regular shadow pokemon from grunts could be shiny that is huge if that is true that is very 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 huge so but again i'm not sure if that's legit or not but if it is that is very huge so very cool stuff if I do say so myself. Now, in terms of the Shadow Reg Ice or Reggie Ice or Ice Reggie, things of that nature. Ah! Basically, if Shadow Reggie still, the PvP community kind of frown upon that one, then the Shadow Ice Reggie, that's not going to have much use. So, therefore, uh, I may pass on this one as well. I don't know. But here's the thing. If you did not complete the last one at this point, then you can't stack them up because you need to, I think you can't stack them up. I don't know. I need to investigate on that, but I think you need to complete the last one to get this one. So I'm not sure you can stack up the uh, Super Rocket Radars, but we'll see. We'll see what's up with that. But I'm going to call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know this is. This is Brian New Jack Gatsby, a.k.a. New Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys.
Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now yeah, they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.